everyone, welcome to a new video here and today we're going to be talking about a quick and simple yet cool and quirky Eddie Van Halen trick that I haven't really seen many if any videos made on this. I'm sure there's probably a couple out there, don't get me wrong, but I just personally haven't seen them. I don't think it's like a well-known thing that people talk about. But uh, the first time I heard him play using this trick is obviously in the original instrumental of Eruption. You know, the, the album version that you'll have heard, it's near the start of Eruption. And the second time I would have heard him play this um, sort of thing would have been in a live version specifically of Panama. There's a couple of live versions actually I've heard him play this in. It's a little trick that he uses, it's very simple, you can easily incorporate it into your playing if you don't already use this sort of thing. But let's get to it. So it's based around one of the first fast licks you'll probably learn to play on an electric guitar, which sounds something like this probably. Okay, which obviously you can move around the pentatonic scale. Or any way you like, really. Um, but yeah, the first version of that here. So those notes there, we're going to base the Eddie Van Halen trick from this. So we're playing the fifth fret as an upstroke on the B string, hammer onto the eighth, pull back after the fifth, and then play a downstroke on the eighth fret of the G. Now for this trick, we're going to add an extra element, an, an extra pull off to it. So we play the five to the eight to the five on the B, and then pull off to the open B. And this is the extra cool thing. Okay, which is this note here. And then we play that bluesy note there, the 8th fret, on the G. And I think it's just that the way the sequence of the notes are formulated that makes this sound really quirky, right? You've got um, second highest note, highest note, second highest note, lowest note, and then like second lowest note. It's kind of a weird combination of note order, really. And when played fast and slightly muted, you get that kind of cool, I don't know, like a cool effect. Again, you want to be slightly muting, especially that lower note. And you can kind of have a little play around with how much you mute it, how much you don't. You kind of want to find a middle ground. I think in Eruption it was fairly muted, actually. But um, just play around with it. You can do what you want with it, really. And But yeah, that's the effect. And I, and I did say that... Um, I've seen him use it in the song Panama Live, so we moved up to the uh, seventh fret area here, like the B minor pentatonic, that sort of area. And so we're going to be starting on the seventh fret of the B, hammering onto the tenth, pulling off the seventh, and then the open B, and then playing the tenth fret there for that bluesy note um, on the G. Now this lick works especially well, or like a really quirky sound because of that bluesy note after the pull off. That's a weird combination of notes, really, isn't it, when you think about it? it? Sounds terrible when you play it slowly, but... When you play it fast, in the context of a lick, and in a song or something, it can sound really cool. And it's just something that you can quickly put into your playing and add, you know, to a lick that already probably exists in your repertoire. And here and there... Play it, play it around with it. Maybe try it in a different key. Let's try it maybe in the key of like C sharp minor pentatonic. Let's play the note slowly. Sounds kind of weird, right? That sounds kind of cool as well. So just try, try and play around with it in different keys and find something that might work well in like your own solo or something. Um, but that'll do it for this video, and hope it's just give you a little, little something fun to play around with, and I'll see you for the next video. Take care.